Hello, so I'm going to tell you how to do the restriction digest. So let's say you just pulled out your tube with your DNA that you've copied. You're going to take 14 microliters out of this and put it into a brand new tube. So for that you're going to use your P20. And then you're going to put one microliter of this restriction enzyme called FNU4H1. And notice there's very little liquid in there, so I can't have you screw up on me. I need you to have one microliter set, 1.0, and that's very little volume, okay? It's just the tiniest, tiniest amount in there. And so then once you have that enzyme measured, I want you to put it inside the tube and make sure it's getting in there and then you can like kind of once you get kind of pipette up and down and kind of swirl it a little bit just to make sure it's well mixed and then you want to put it um, in your thermocycler and you want to uh, set it to heat block 37 degrees for 15 minutes and then once it's done with that you'll be ready to to, um, to run your gel or to load and run your gel now the master mix has a dye in it that's um, that's heavy that will allow your sample to sink into the wells here. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can move the camera so I can show you better how to load the gel. So I'm gonna show you with the uh, ladder. So you're gonna have, it, depending upon whether you just tested yourself or whether you tested a family member. If you just tested yourself, you're going to have your sample and you're going to have the DNA ladder and so you'll only have two wells in the gel that will have samples. Um, so I'm just going to show you the ladder because I don't really have a real sample. And I'm going to move the camera so that you can see better. Okay. So you can see, um, let me pull the gel out a little bit. You can see the wells, um, and they'll be submerged when you have the gel under the buffer. And the trick is going to be to, um, you're going to load 12 microliters into the gel. I'm going to make sure that they tell you 12. Um, they actually asked to have you use 10 microliters of the latter and 12 microliters of your uh, restriction digest. So I'm going to get a fresh tip. And I'm, you could use either pipetter for loading. Um, because either will measure 10 but I'll show you how to do the 10 of the ladder. I would suggest that you do 10 of your ladder first in case you mess up, because uh, then you can always, you can do another ladder if you need to. Okay, so there's 10 of my ladder, and what I'm gonna do You don't have to start on the far left. Um, I'm going to start in lane, in lane three here. And so I'm just going to put the tip of the pipette just under the buffer, but just above the well. And then I'm just going to slowly push down on the plunger. And then I'm going to take the tip out. Then I'll let go of the plunger. So I got it all beautifully into that well. I don't have a real sample because I didn't do real PCR. So now what I'm going to do is um, put the lid on. There's only one way the lid goes on. Make sure it's plugged in and turn it on. And a little light will go on. And you're going to run that. And you'll be able to see your samples because there's dye in, the, in with the DNA. But you won't be able to see the DNA yet. So let it run about 10-15 minutes. And then you can turn the light on, and in a fairly dark room, you'll be able to see bands, um, not only for your ladder, but also for, hopefully, for your DNA. Um, and then to take a picture, 
you're going to put this hood over it and then you can put your camera on top of here and take a picture of your gel. And you can let it run a fairly long time because the longer it runs, the more distance you'll see between the bands and the more clear it will be. So you can kind of play around with it and keep turning on and off and seeing what gives you the best picture.